I'm gonna take a YouTube video like this and throw it up on my magic mirror. Welcome back to my channel. If you want to stay up to date on the latest videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today I wanted to show you two magic mirror modules that look really awesome up here on the wall. If you don't know what a magic mirror is, I'll throw some videos up in the card that'll walk you through how you can make one of your very own. The two modules I'm going to show you today are a YouTube module and a Google Photos module. Now, the way that we're going to manipulate and work with a mirror is to use this magic mirror remote. And to get a better view of it, I'll throw it down here in the bottom of the screen so you can walk through it with me. But the remote allows me to manipulate what's up on the mirror. I can hide or reveal modules. I can actually even augment the configuration file from my phone, and I can do a number of other things. This just makes it a little bit easier than going on your laptop or your computer and going through SSH and VNC, which are just basically remote ways to access your Raspberry Pi magic mirror while it's up on the wall. So using iframe, which is a way that we're going to embed video on a web page, we're going to embed a YouTube video or a YouTube playlist up here on the magic mirror. Now, in order to do that, we'll reveal and the YouTube video Actually, this is a playlist. It's a Casey Neistat playlist. Should jump up here and reveal itself. I have this particular module set to autoplay. So if you restart the Raspberry Pi or the mirror, this playlist automatically starts playing. Now, at some point you're gonna to wanna to turn it off. So if you're leaving for work or you just don't wanna have this playing all the time, the way to shut it off is you can actually use the Raspberry Pi remote and you just hide the module. So to show you that we're actually watching it, there's the sound, there's a video playing. Now, if you hide the particular Module, now it's hidden and we're back to the regular mirror. The sound shut off and when I reopen it again, it should just start that playlist. Now, I don't have it set to shuffle, which would probably be a lot better. All that requires is that you add a couple characters at the end of my YouTube code and I could shuffle the video so I'm not always watching this exact same first uh, video every time. I'm in St. Bart's, which is... This also, I think, has a huge benefit. If you're getting ready in the morning and you like listening to music, you can make sure that you connect the playlist like your favorite artist or your favorite type of music and when that playlist gets updated it will do the same up here on the magic mirror so you're constantly getting like new content or new videos the most difficult thing when i was putting together this youtube playlist was that i couldn't get the sound to work now the not really sound card on a raspberry pi but the sound configuration is not great on some of the raspberry pis so you kind of have to work with it for each individual module or each individual program on your raspberry pi i worked for a few hours trying to work through the code and figure out a way to solve a problem I ended up solving the problem with the, can you see this? So this is a USB sound card, I guess you put it. This is really a converter that converts USB to the three and a half millimeter microphone and the headphone. There's a miniature sound card here in this USB plugin, which somehow allowed me to get sound to come out of my magic mirror. So I have this plugged into a Beats pill, like here. And this is where the sound is coming from out of my Raspberry Pi. The second module I wanted to show you guys allows you to take Google Photos like this and throw them up on your mirror. This module will allow you to take a Google Photos album and put it up here on your magic mirror. So I'll show you what it looks like so you can get a good look right away. And these are photos from an album that I put up on Google Drive, Google Photos. Now there's like 20 up here right now. You can put more than one album if you want. I just have this one album, but you can do one, two, or three, or four, however many you want. The cool thing about this module is that once you get it up in your mirror and you get things working, you can update all the photos just by updating the album in Google Photos. Once you update the album, it'll update here on the magic mirror. So it's kind of cool because the, the photos can stay continually fresh and you don't have to do like any heavy lifting or heavy coding to get it to work like that. I hope you guys enjoyed these two modules. I think they look really cool. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to comment below. And as always, if you want to stay up to date on the latest content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. I will see you guys later. 